YouTube, it's Alicia here, none other, I am coming to give y'all a makeup tutorial, so before I do, let me just uh, explain some of the stuff I have already put on, I have already put a master primer on, and I used the blur, um, pore minimizing, um, minimizing, um, primer, and this is a pretty good, um, pretty good primer this primer right here is a dupe for the um knit box uh hope I smashbox there we go smashbox um primer right here i also use the milani eyeshadow primer and that's in zero one and nude hope you can and I like I'm saying I'm gonna list everything below I'm gonna I'm using my favorite foundation in um, the Clinique Ever Butter Foundation in Sienna DN20. So like I'm going to list everything and I use two different concealers today. I use the NYX Professional Born to Glow Concealer in um, beige and I also use the um, Wet n Wild Concealer in medium peach. I actually combined them and did my concealer under here, down the bridge of my nose, and right up in here. So, yes. And I know what I want to do. I'm going to be doing a she Princess of Power um, makeup tutorial. And I um, and today we're going to be doing the Magic Cat. So before I get started, i got to do two things. One, I'm going to set um use the setting powder right quick and set a little bit on the eye just to mattify it a little bit before we start coloring and stuff so we're just going to do that we're just going to add a little bit of that with the using this brush in in the corners and then because we're got a very ornate um and we're going to sit under the eye. This is my favorite setting powder. And I'm going to tell y'all, do not sleep on Black Radiance setting powder. They come in several different colors. The translucent white, they have it in banana. And I think it's a tan color. I'll let you know. And if you want me to come back and um, do a list of setting powders that I recommend for women of color, uh, of women of well, my favorite um, drugstore, um, my favorite drugstore um, setting powders, please uh, let me know. So like I'm saying, this is Black Radiance. I've been having this almost two years, y'all, and I'm still got a lot more to go. And um, this is Black Radiance, and this is a cruelty-free brand. Anybody can pick this up, but you can pick it at your local Walmart or your local your local Walmart, any retailer you can. And you can also pick it up at your at your. And uh, uh, this is the palette I'm using today. This is the Beauty Glaze um, color. Vivid, vivid, um, eyeshadow, and yeah, and this is a cruelty free brand as well, so you can get this off of Amazon.com. So the first color out of here, I'm gonna go with Locust, and we're just gonna start with Locust right here. Now, now I'm doing, I'm doing some real inter intricate. Let me just say real intricate uh, colors today. Just like my last one, I'm doing like characters that you'd be so easy to um, actually pull off for like Halloween or you want a Halloween makeup. This will be a look you can pull off. So I am going to go all in into the crease. And I'm going ham with this color right quick. 
because I want to um, blend it, give this a good blend out because we are using purple. And the character from She-Ra, Princess of Power, I'm doing today won't surprise you. I am doing the Queen of Magic Cats. Yes, so if you have not seen the original She-Ra and you're joining me for the first time, hi, my name is Alicia and I actually uh, do makeup tutorials based off of the original 1980s version of She-Ra. Alright, so let me go on and blend that out real good. We're just going to take this fluffy brush right here and we're just going to blend 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 give it a good and blend it well it might go up into the brows you can take it to the brows if you want to but um like i'm saying we are going to be talking about she represents a power this is what the makeup tutorial and if you're trying to figure if you're just now joining me and you're trying to figure out what the first color I use, I use this color from Beauty Glaze called Color Vivids. These are the Vivid eyeshadow colors. Very bright, very pigmented and stuff. So, yeah. So, we're going to take that same brush that we use and we're going to take this color called Purplish and stuff. Now, the reason I'm using these two colors is she's sort of kind of like um, a, a very pastel, a pastel, darkish purple. And we're going to be using this. And we're just going to dab that right in here. We're going to dab that and we're going to blend that out real well because. And we're just going to bring that uh, right here and swing it out a little. And the reason I'm doing this like this is because one, um, the queen of the magic cats. Um, we're um, into this when we are on the episode where I can't well, remember. I think it's called Magic Cats. The Magic Cats, the Queen Returns. And I'm going to get you the name of that episode too. Okay. Um, and things. So, with this, the queen, um, goes off the way that it's told by Chateau. That's the name of one of the characters. We're going to blend it real well again. And, uh, we're going to, um, bring, just pull it in the way I'm going to blend this. And we're going to be doing something very ornate with the lips today. But when we, the way that um, the story is told to Shira, who, um, um, in thing, when they first come across Catherine, they think Catherine is their queen who has returned and thing. But um, um, she goes, wait, 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 that's not your queen. And like a, a with Shira, you know, she she's gonna tell the truth. She goes, "That's not your queen. That's the horde, um, force captain, Catherine." Okay, and as she goes, when it, with with it as she goes, and she's telling him that he goes, "No, no, we waited for so long for our queen to return. How you explain her mess?" And she goes, "Long ago, when I was under the hordes, uh." seduction they have kidnapped out this large cat cat and gave the mask to Catherine he goes whatever happened to the cat they sent her to the slave slave camp so all she, all she knows that she was sent to the slave um camp well she goes and she finally reveals Catherine's real identity and he goes, she's not, and that's when Adora goes, oh, when she gets back, she's going to tell the whore all about it after she's sitting naked. That's when Chateau said, no, she's not. And as he's going, no, she's not. You finna find out why they really call us magic cats with the control, with the control panel and all the magic cats. They do this whirlwind thing. Catherine jumps through it. When she gets back to her, she goes, 
y'all, I was waiting at a later date how I can actually do the old Capra's uh, mannerisms because I am known for that in my family. But yeah, so with this day eight, in this episode, this is the only episode they actually um help adore them. So we're going to get ready to actually go, just go in. Um, finish up a little bit because like I'm saying this is a pretty good look and thing and we have uh, okay um, that okay so we're for the lid we're going to use this color called crimson it's like this oh sorry y'all y'all just saw um it's this color called crimson right here and it's like a red color and we're just going to add that to the lids uh, yeah we're going to add it to the lids uh, let me dab it on this paper towel a little bit for it don't be too much and all right and we're just going to take that right up in here and we're just going to I am liking it it's turning out pretty well we're just going to go over it again and tap it it's turning out real well just how I want it and thing so we're just gonna go in with that and um the reason I purple and red I'm using um a shield plate that is on her body is red it's like a brownish red so I wanted to bring this in first and also blend it a bit we're gonna blend it a bit and Because we're gonna we're gonna be doing a uh, a unique trick with my lips today, so yeah, hope so I am loving it. So we're gonna take this color called brick. Let me just lightly just it's gonna be this color here, this color right here, and we're just going to just fluff that right up in here a little bit just to um and i am loving i'm loving it like quick i am loving it and i am pretty loving it so we're gonna go back in with that with that dark purple we're just gonna go back in a bit just to um, heighten it in certain spots where it's kind of faded a bit okay and we're just going to take that take this brush and we're just going to blend it a bit but yeah um we're going to do that so the next thing is we're going to take not this brush but yeah this brush and do the brows right quick um, anybody who saw my post earlier today, um, early, um, late yesterday, I have natural brows, so I won't have to do a lot to my brows. I only use brow gel and stuff. It's just my brows are naturally arch. So comment below if you have natural eyebrow arch and it's not, and it's not too, it's not often that you have to use concealer under your brows so the next thing we're going to go in with is this it's my um 
brow gel um, do to get some new I need to go and get um, and we just start from the front tidbit like following the arch so we're going to wait for it to get a little tack a bit before I can finish it off so before I were waiting on that we're just going to go and move this powder out and stuff and we're going to be using the Revlon. If you heard me, the Revlon Color Stay. Ooh. The Revlon Color Stay in Cappuccino 410. This is one of my favorite um, setting all. Uh, one of my favorite uh, foundation powders. I love to use. Let me just say. And then... Let me shut this door out. So. And thing, but yeah. Uh, okay, we go. All right. So the next thing we're going to next thing we're going to take this brush right here and we're gonna go in this color called Pearl and um it's this color right here and we're gonna put that in the as a highlight. So before we finish up we're going to arch in and let the brows gel down a bit. And um, we're gonna be doing this. And then um, so I'm being not too loud tonight because I'm at my aunt's house and everybody's asleep. So I'm just doing this makeup look. But yeah, and I'm gonna go in with the highlight from the Beauty Glaze um, Color Vivid Palette. And we're gonna be using this color called Pearl. And Just going to do that. We're going to blend it out in just a minute. And let me just say, this um, is blendable. But like I said, with this, um, uh, when I do the makeup tutorials based off this, these characters, I take it to like be sure I give you the information because I think everybody knows that none other we got so many we got at least two he-man shows I don't I will give you a review on the second one and how I um how I feel about it then um uh, we have we had the She-Ra Netflix reboot now um where I'm at right now okay so before we get started, um, yeah, we're going to do the, before we do the highlight, we're going to do the lips right quick. So we're going to take this color now. This is like a go-to color. And I'm going to put it on my lips. All the way on my lips. And what we're going to do, because we're going to bring um, this back in right quick. And we're going to take some toilet uh, tissue. To, well, this one's a little on the van side. So let me just... Uh, 
tap a little bit of that off and then take a paper towel. We're going to put the paper towel over the lips and we're going to take this brush Just the okay. That's gonna have to be clean. But we just mattify it a bit, and what I'm going to do is we're going to use this color called Smoke. I want to go real light with the lip color. And what, and I like it. It just gave it a something different. And we're gonna go over it with um, Blush Mauve in the middle. And I'm a little bit okay and the next thing that we're going to do is I'm going to go on and do the highlight um, I am liking the look so far, so far. <laughs> okay so anybody who knows me with this highlight, I use this highlight a lot. And this is the Glow Kit from Anastasia Beverly Hill in the Serendipity. And they have a color up in here. Anytime they have these colors, I have this one color I always use for Shira. And it's um, this color right here called Moonstone. Due to the um, cause of the TV show, and they um, do this color called And we're just going to tip it there a little bit, just a little. And we're just going to blend that out, blend this out real good. And then and now we're going to um, use the blush right here. And. And there you go. That is it. This is the look. Like I'm saying, this is um, based off the character, um, the magic, uh, the uh, queen of the magic cats. But like I'm saying, I mean, if y'all think what you see on Netflix is what you get, go back and watch the 80s version. I will leave the episode down. Don't forget to thumbs up this video, comment below, and subscribe to my channel. Bye.